how are you doing econ students? This is Mr. Clifford, welcome to ACDC Econ. Right now we're going to take a quick look at the types of inflation. Right here I have a Zimbabwe banknote that says $10 trillion. My students always ask, well, how much is that worth in United States dollars? Well, the fast answer is not very much. In fact, nothing at all. But that's a different concept. That's the idea of foreign exchange, the relative value of currencies between countries. Right now I want to talk about inflation. So it turns out that this currency wasn't worth very much inside Zimbabwe. In fact, it's worth even less now because they stopped using this currency back in 2009. Zimbabwe is a great example of hyperinflation. <laughs> Hyper! I'm so hyper! Hyperinflation! In Zimbabwe, over a nine year period of time, prices increased 4.5 trillion percent. It's like so much you can't even comprehend how fast prices were going up. The reason for this was because the government was printing new money to pay its debt. So to pay for public works programs and public services, they're just making brand new money. And history has shown that that always leads to hyperinflation. Besides this, there's two other causes of inflation cost push inflation and demand pull. And you can see both of them by looking at aggregate demand and aggregate supply. Think about it, there's only two ways to get the price level to go up and to have inflation. Cost push inflation is when the aggregate supply shifts to the left, causing the price level to go up. The cause is an increase in the price of a key resource used in the production of many products. So if the price of oil or steel or some other key resource goes up, then the aggregate supply shifts to the left, price level goes up. And demand pull inflation is when the aggregate demand shifts to the right, causing price level to go up. This is the idea that people are buying more and more goods, but since there's only so many goods produced, it's going to increase the price of those goods. If more people want something and they can't get it, well, they're going to start bidding up the price, causing inflation. This is the idea of too much money chasing too few goods. I hope this video helped you understand the different types of inflation. Make sure to take a look at the next video, which has the Phillips curve. This is a graph that's going to show inflation and unemployment. Also click here to go to the playlist for this unit. It has a bunch of videos that explain the key graphs and the key concepts of this unit. If you like these videos, make sure to subscribe and leave a comment below. Till next time.